Hi guys, welcome back to another thrilling episode of Exotic Life of Electrician. Uh, I am doing a couple of uh, undercover lights today. I did a kitchen last week, I think it was. Couldn't record it because the customer was there and whatnot. So I've asked them this is absolutely fine today. Uh, just doing a few undercover lights, undercover strips. How I've got to get around the customer. Uh, not the customer, sorry, the kitchen fitters. I've asked them to leave them a gap or put a fly lead down. Didn't either. My own fault. I should have been there and done it. Uh, wasn't quite sure on the worktop height, uh, sorry, under cupboard um, height, so to run my cables in properly. So I normally just stick them on top and then we'll fly lead down. So uh, I'll take you inside and have a walk around. Right, so what we've got here, this is the kitchen that was fitted very recently. Nice little piece. Um, obviously, you can see where I've been marking on the walls to do bits and bobs. Uh, so fridge freezer, a few switch spur for it, double socket, double socket, USB socket. TV socket, there's a double socket under there to supply uh, both appliances and there's a double socket in there to, to do the uh, tumble dryer. Um, this is all on a ring final circuit just in case anyone wants to have a poke. <laughs> I do appreciate your commenting, like, I don't dislike you when you all have a bit of, well I would have done it this way. I was entitled to their opinion and you know it is what it is. I, I do listen to you guys and, and, and try and read and comment back on as much, much uh, content as possible but uh, uh, double socket, double socket. The oven's got it's it's a double oven, um, both below 2.6 kilowatt. But there's a own there's a one supply directly for that with a double socket in the top. Uh, hob. Uh, so what we're doing today is undercover lights. So I should have a supply up there somewhere. I can't quite see. I'm just using the camera. So there should be a cable up there and a cable there, which you can see poking out. So I've got to get one. Uh, the stuff that I'm using today is the uh, Knightsbridge stuff. LED uh, strips, use them all the time, got them in my house, wicked stuff. So I asked them because a lot of these cupboards underneath don't have a lot of room at all. And obviously you can see here with the cable tongue already, that's pre prepping and this is one I made earlier. <laughs> um, so normally I would bring the, uh, the cable out from the cupboard lights first fix around about here, but we weren't quite sure on measurements. And sometimes the cable's brought down, it pokes out here. So then it needs to be made good to bring it back up to height. So a few times I've done it recently is just leave the cables at the top. They will then be extended, brought down. Uh, the cable that comes with it is plenty long enough. So what I have done, and it is accessible today, is stick a cable tongue up, that's gone, straight up the back of the top there, which is perfect. And obviously, because you've got the extractors a flyover, I can run the cables across the top, but not underneath. So that's going to have its own undercover light, that one and that one. And unfortunately, my supplier has missed one off. There should have been this one here, 838, and then another one of these ones. But it's not here, so I'll, for the time being, I'm just going to mount this in the middle and then come back and just stick another one in. Um, so yeah, I just thought I'll... Um, well, I won't really stick it on time lapse. You won't really have to see much. So I will sort of stick the camera up there while I'm doing it and explain what's going and where and when. All right, so what I'm just gonna do now is just, I know you can stick it through there, but it is extremely tight. So I'm just gonna stick some tape on the end bit. It's funny, I'm trying to teach Adam the art and taping things on properly, tightly, but not use too much. It's a pain in the ass to get off. And I'll be honest, he's still getting there with it. Well, I'll pull you up. Seem to have hit a snag. Why aren't you going up? Oh, hop up time and go. And we're there. Nearly fell off. Right, so that's up now. So I'm gonna do that one here. Do exactly the same thing for this one. This one, it has got a filler gap at the end. 
So this is normally quite handy for a slot because of the gap that leads right up top, obviously it's just a thinner panel put in the end. But I always like to have the switches on the outside. Obviously it doesn't really matter. You can have them on the underside as well. So yeah, I'll sort of show you what I mean. So I like to have, if that's underneath there, the switch on the outside. So it's either fitted like this or with the angle bracket like this, so it's underneath. So that means the wired connection needs to be on this side. So that way we'd probably be the most accessible. Same sort of thing for this one, even though I brought it on the wrong side. I'll just pull it across underneath, put it on that side, and same for that one, so the switch is sort of always accessible. Otherwise, if you did it that way, it's not too bad because it's still accessible, but if you mount it that way, the, the switch is hidden, so pain in the ass to get to. That one was extremely tight. Okay, we've got that one up now, that one up now, but like, I mean, that one was bloody tight. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, there's movement there, look. It's not ridiculous, but to try and get that through at the same time as the other one. But this one, there is no look. It is, there is no gap whatsoever. So luckily we, we can pass it down the end and we'll just secure it top and bottom. Uh, so it's not flapping around in there. Uh, let me just get my hop up. I keep dragging this on the floor. I shouldn't do that with new tiles. I need to get one of them sort of work mats that people have got. The nice little ones with the logo on. Pretty doody. Right. Here's my cable. I have taped it up on the end, even though it's not connected to anything. For supply-wise, what I did with the undercover lights, obviously the two lights pre-existing. Customer didn't want down lights, so these ones are sort of fitted even though brand new and this one doesn't work. So I'm about to bring another one with me. Um, so what we've done is just tapped off a live feed here, taking the switch down. I managed to feed the cable down because it was a really nice void. You should have just seen this, this ceiling when I was finished with it. I knew it was getting skimmed. There was holes everywhere. Pretty much like my old video because it's a laminate floor upstairs. So I can't take that down. So it was live feed taken there, switch dropped down and then the switch, um, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, permanent feed taken down from there. So the switch gear was taken back down, obviously back up to here, and then it's jointed off there and spread across to this side and to that side. So I'll take the switch off in a minute and you can see what I'm on about. Um, so that the, the cables aren't actually live, they're just taping the end just for the customer's benefit, really. Like, no one wants to see a live cable hanging out the wall or what they think is, should I say. Right, off then. Anyway, um, gonna get this one down. Uh, and I'll have, to, I'll have to join that one, unfortunately. So I'll stick a Wago box. I mean, I did bring a little, uh, the six amp. Uh, doesn't say, I mean, the, the tiny little uh, lighting junctions, but I just hate using junction boxes now. I'd much rather waste more money on Wagos and a Wago box than fitting them, but that's just me. Um, join that cross, bring this cable up, and then uh, do some joints. Cables are all up, sorry. Customer came in and started on a chat, so what? And then the cable fell down when I was talking, so. Right, let me see if, that was a horrible noise. Oh, let me just see if you can see what I'm on about. Right, it's pretty here. So the way I do these lights anyway, so obviously imagine this is in the center. I'm gonna be putting the lights downwards so that it's on the bracket. That's these brackets here, so they will just clip on like so and then they'll just screw straight up. I hope to God you can see this in the camera. That's it. Oh God, that noise goes through me. Right, so what I normally do, just so I get exactly the same measurement, so that butt straight up to the side of the pelmet, and then obviously I want to bracket either end, so I literally just draw a pencil line there, pencil line there, come down, and then I'll push a screwdriver in these bits here just to give it a notch and then screw the brackets up and I'll clip it in place. So that just gives me an even measurement every time of getting the down lines. So use the down lines to make a measurement.
always find it best to just to do a little hole with your screw down just to break the surface because the screws they give you are a bit naff to be honest. So if you break the top, which is the surface, it does help you a hell of a lot while I'm getting the screws in. I would normally use my screws for this, but I've actually run out of mini ones and I'll end up putting a screw through the entire cupboard. Right, that one's on. And so what I'll do now, oh, that noise is gross. Sorry again. So I've got sticky pads that I'll stick across there, bring on the inside, hide the cable, and then you have a little white cable ties that go around it. So I'll get them on now. Little box of bits. So sticky pads, oh, I'll choose this tray. So usually if I get the right angle, so these tabs literally they just have a peel back section and then oh god it's not even square so then from doing that i know exactly how much slack i've got so i don't want to be doing it to start with and find out i'm too short on the bottom and it'll crap so i'll do this with this one get those two in as well Okay, we've got all our strips up already. Um, it's annoying, I've cleaned my memory card, wiped it after each video sort of thing, and for some reason I need to plug it in my, because I've got an iMac, I don't know how to do it on that, so I have to then plug it to my laptop to reformat it, to wipe it completely, because it, it, it says on here, to read in the back, I've got 40 minutes left of my SD card, it's a 64 gig SD card, and. I've only recorded the stuff that you've just seen, so I don't know. So let me know if you lot know how to do it on an iMac. Um, right, so we've got these ones again, and we've got the two two ones, because obviously these are push connectors, and if I'm trying to connect onto that, it's not going to work. So my plan is that cable and that cable actually reach the, the uh, one mil twin up there. This one doesn't, so that's going to be stripped back, put on there, another length of one mil run on to another box there. So. I can't get my camera up there and record, so I'll get that bit done and I'll show you after. Okay, this is our first one done. I stuck a few uh, few clips in. I clipped the end so it supported that. And no, Alvin, I've uh, not put all round band around it. <laughs> so I'm just gonna do this side now and get that one done. That's all connected up top now. I've turned the lights off because I've just done, connected up there and stuck a bit of filler. So that cable hanging down is the extractor. I just need to stick a plug on it if I can find one. So last thing to do now is, this is one I made earlier, again. So, strip that back. Obviously double it over, and I've got the brush chrome. Switch to go on there. Okay, time for the big reveal. That should be the mains. Right, I switched over that one now, so that one's fixed. So I'll turn that off. Bang. Sweet. I mean, this is what I've said to my customers. I've got these exact look of the lights, like I said earlier, under my, uh, under my couples at home. And in the evening, don't even put the main spots on. It's just, I mean, I've got some plinth lights as well, which I wish I had a fix. It looks like a bloody runway all the way around. You can get the one. Mine are like the decking lights as such that go in the plinth. The now ones that you can get is that the LED strip that sits underneath of the unit and gives it a nice glow around. Like, it would look really nice under here. But mine, when you've got these stupid spots everywhere. So, one day I might change them. So yeah, in the evening, just turn these on. It'll give you plenty of light. Obviously when you get your extractor on, I need to find a plug for that. Um, turn both on, so it just adds to the kitchen really well. Looks a lot, lot, lot nicer. And this is one of those days where I really, <laughs> I really, really do miss Adam. <sighs> no joking, mate, love you really. Some of the slight nice uh, bit of exciting news for myself. Uh, I've started working alongside a company. They've uh, been messaging me back and forth and we've uh, 
sort of working together now, which is quite nice. So uh, they're called expertelectrical.co.uk. I'll put all the links in the description below. They sell fuse wards, pretty much the cheapest you can get online, uh, control gear, cable, that sort of stuff. Uh, then they're linked over to downlights.co.uk. Uh, all the different LED lighting, top brands, good prices as well, as I've had to check on all of that sort of stuff. Uh, and also if you go across to www dot downlightsdirect.co.uk and you can win a £500 uh, shopping spending spree on there. Um, I'll put it all in the description below. Uh, if you turn around and use uh, Bundy 10, capital B-U-N-D-Y 10, at, at the end uh, of the checkout you get 10% off as well, which is uh, it's all good for everyone. Uh, quick delivery, I ordered some stuff the other day. It came next day. Uh, I got another fuse box, fuse board, uh, 14 way, some eight down lights, all came in the same box, all well packaged. So literally can't go wrong at all so i'll put it on the description below so in my next video i'll talk a lot more about expert electrical like list off the different brands they make different stuff so uh, it is interesting if you go and check it out I'll put it on the description for now go and have a look and then uh, next video should be a bit more informative right i'm gonna give this all a test now um on top of everything still remember that you can get sorry the lights probably point straight light uh you still get discount code for joining 8bit uh using nb0919 for september or October NB 1019 uh, for 10% off. Well, 10% uh, off was it 30 pound? It's 30 pound off um, new uh, new memberships. So I'm going to sort of test now, and uh, I will see you in the next video. As always, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you soon.